starting with one club and my experience as a Leicester. Um, the easy slide here is just the technical side of how might you set up to do analytics. And this is based specifically around the first team, um, a Leicester, which data sources we had and which processes we went through. So uh, we had a variety of data sources. We had second spectrum, stats perform, stats bomb, and skill corner, uh, all being used for different reasons. Um, and the process would always be getting this uh, data in a raw format, importing it into some kind of database. And then for different practitioners, either having it on a cloud, uh, in a cloud bucket, um, in a SQL relational database, or just simply in a Dropbox for other, other people who just need a really simple format of data. And the final step would then always be how do we build into um, more interactive ways of uh, providing insights and doing data analytics. So on one of the last talks of the day, I'm sure you've seen various versions of this schema. And each individual component isn't as vital as it was 20 years ago because there are so many different solutions. But the general flow of it stays the same. But in my opinion, the technical side of setting up to do data analytics is the easier side of the role. Um, what I realized early on in Leicester was more important was the actual diversity of the people that uh, I had to interact with. So I would be the analytics department contact um, and just through a various week or month at different times, I'd have to speak to a sporting director, coach, performance analyst, head of recruitment, scout, physio, sports scientist. And each of these had their own sort of individual um, quirks or different views. And this is where the people skills side of the job came in. Um, it was important to realize they all had different levels of buy-in, different levels of comfort and experience with data, and they all had different levels of time. So it wasn't possible to go in depth um, with, say, uh, the sporting director as you might with a performance analyst because you just naturally get less time. So this problem actually made me realize that between the central analytics department, once you solve the technical problem centrally, there's a gap between you and every practitioner. And my first experience of trying to overcome this was at Leicester or trying to um, build these uh, relationships. And about six months into the time of Leicester, uh, we decided to hold a conference that was um, a follow up on the original Tactical Insights conference done in 2016. This one was called um, Tactical Insights 2020, and uh, the subtitle was Bridging the Gap. And that was specifically focused on, I'd never seen a room full of people with analytics um, and a lot of practitioners um, who weren't data minded. So we wanted to run an event that got a lot of coaches, performance analysts, physios, medical, and um, data scientists in a room and just get conversations going and just get everything mixed up into one spot while, de while data was still relatively new about three or four years ago. So again, this conference to me, uh, the flavor of it gave us um, a lot of useful conversations, a lot of different approaches, and an idea of how to build around a lot of different people's processes um, at different clubs. So thinking about that, we thought about the diverse challenge of uh, how to do data analytics and uh, communicating within a club actually that data guy is not just someone who provides you answers with numbers it's actually a diverse set of challenges especially when it's a small uh, one or two person department and they're actually a multitude of things one of which is something you might call a, a back-end engineer or someone that creates the data architecture or infrastructure that's part of your job when you're starting up a department on your own you're also the data scientist and analyst so you have to be able to do some level of data modeling and enrichment and then you're also the person doing the front end of that. So you're the person who's got to do basic UI design and translate those advanced stats into either use cases uh, that help people or workflows um, or speed up people's workflows. And finally, um, a role that you kind of tend to share with, for example, technical scouts or performance analysts is the actual, you sometimes do the delivery. Um, so you need to figure out how all of that um, data that was raw at the start of the process that you've processed and given meaning to and tried to derive insight from how that actually relates to other mediums that they might um, deliver in. So for example, video reports, 
um, in meetings uh, as feedback. So as you can see here there in, in one sort of string in most um, companies that have a bigger data science uh, stack and more staff, you'd actually have these as individual roles. But especially when you're setting up for the first time an individual club, you're expected to wear all these hats at different points. And it is important to communicate that um, so people understand. You actually feel like a one-man band. Um, that's the point of this image. Um, at some point, especially before there's uh, a lot of funding or the roadmap's been drawn out for what a club wants to do with data analytics, just be expected to do everything. And naturally it means you won't be able to do it to your full potential, but you have to find a successful and uh, useful way that you can add value with your process. And if you can't do all four of those sort of areas and steps, um, if you were to boil it down, I'd say based on experience, um, these two final parts are the most important. Um, the most important step is the relationship between um, having some sort of advanced stats that have a meaning and that everyone has an understanding of and being able to deliver them successfully to either improve performance or find value in players. This is where all the translation and all the contact needs to happen between a data science practitioner and a coach, a scout, a performance analyst. So even if um, it's an area where, um, even, even if you're at a club where you're lacking resources, um, this is an area where if you focus on it from here, you can still build a really good um, argument and case for how analytics is making an impact.